Hi guys, it's Minx here. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna play some more I Have No Mouth, but I'm a Scream. Um, apparently I actually got through Nimdok's story without, like, losing any sort of, like, fucking penalties or whatever, which I did in the other ones. <laughs> so that means I can get an ending, a good ending. Well, I don't know if it's good, but, uh, uh, like, a better ending than some, apparently. So, um... All we have to do is get through Ted's scenario, and then we can play Nimdok in the finale. I thought Ted's scenario was the last, but there's actually like a finale finale as well. So we'll see what happens. But, um, let's play as Ted. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, scripts, cowards. Every one of them. Not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So, I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out. Live some kind of life. I'm going to send you... You're going to like this. I'm going to send you... <laughs> the room of that doesn't sound good. If you can solve the puzzle of the room of dark, you're home free. You out. You away. You smart, Ted. You loyal. You a genius. Well, now, I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared. But I'm your friend. 109 years. I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery! Okay, well here we are, in a brand new world. What's down here? I don't actually know what's down here. I guess we can't go that way? So we're gonna go this way. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. I wonder what they could be for. His accent isn't even like the one that I was doing. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. Well, I want you to use the monitor, please. A castle. Right. Why cannot can I push? There we go. That's what I went to do. Sort of intrigue is Am plotting this time. We're at some spooky castle. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. Eh, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like put it. Put it past you, dude. This old drawbridge is in ruins. Is it safe to walk across? I don't trust it to hold my weight. Well, you know, sometimes, Ted, we just have to fucking do shit, you know? We're going inside. So yeah, held your weight. No need to fucking worry, huh? Just just use the entrance. Go in go in the fucking castle. Thank you. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, appearance is everything. Okay, what do we have here? We have some lovely tapestries and little eyes glowing on those. Great. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. But never Ellen. Where the fuck is Ellen? Oh, is it this chick? Is it the... Is it, is it Ellen the... The maiden looks the just chick? like Ellen. Remember before? She seems so sad and so beautiful. Huh. Hmm. Is that a, where do we come in? There's a door here. Can you go in there? I'm just gonna. Uh, this must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. What do we have here? We have books. We have got Don Quixote, Forced Journal, Morte de Arthur, Symposium, The Divine Comedy, and Stop Reading. Let's read the journal. This looks like a diary. Okay, I guess we should read these. The first passage reads. My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. That's pretty depressing. 
The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. Okay. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. This is weird. My wife advises well, an antidote weird. to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my Dire night. wolves are the worst kind. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive. But I must try. Okay. Gonna stop reading here. I'm gonna hopefully manage to leave this room again. There we go. I'm gonna keep saving here because I'm very wary of having to replay large sections of the game at the moment. Yeah, it's. Why, it's Ellen. Is that this? Did was Ellen the other... tell her that I was loved the other her? chick Ellen? Was I can't remember. He was referring. I think to? it was. Yeah. We'll find out. Hi, Ellen. Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Mm, did Am do this to you? Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness, like in the book. Please hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Well, that's great. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me. But that's pretty fucking depressing. No, I won't let you die. No, I won't let you die. I can't take the suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again. Not even in death. Don't go. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Okay. That's good, right? Why do you want your mirror? Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know okay. it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Okay, uh... Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to I'm me. I'm pretty sure it's not there. Um... Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Okay, Ellen, I'm afraid it's not there. Someone must have taken it. Ted. Please tell me you found my mirror. Uh, I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it. Okay, too. okay. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Okay, so we need to find a mirror. To stop the evil stepmother doing evil shit. Oh, is the door here? There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Do not like the sound of that, but let's look at the books for now. We have Demons in Their Spheres. This sounds like an exciting read. This is a catalogue of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. Uh, this one? Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Okay. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. So there's some spooky demonic shit going on in this castle, as, as, as you can probably tell just by the just the general look of the castle, in my opinion. You know, it's pretty fucking disturbing, you know what I mean? It's, uh... Oh. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. Well, 
This is a place where servants do all the Is work. that the stepmother? I guess we'll talk to her. The maid. Excuse me, do you work here? Excuse me? Do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Jesus Christ. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these. You're in there, Ted. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Oh, she is thirsty. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the I'm not sure about that, but still. Very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Oh, she is super thirsty. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. Okay. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. <laughs> Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly one in charge of the castle? Uh, oh, so the witch is scared of her own appearance? It was enchanting talking with you. My pleasure. Come back. I fucked that up. I need to talk about something else. Please, I need to find a mirror. Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Jesus Christ, she is fucking mad for the D. I'm not going to sleep with her, though. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? She is fucking trying to lure me in. Sorry, but it's out of the question. Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman. I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just- Jesus! I can make you so much happy. Oh my fucking god! Uh, look, I'm gonna- I'm not gonna make love with you. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you. How's another break in these times? Isn't it just like a fire? Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. Okay. There you go, I fixed the oven. You fucking bitch. She's creepy. I don't know what happens if you sleep with her. I'm guessing it's bad. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now, I can finish dinner. Why, you used me, you bitch! Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby How? bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! Just wringing that chicken's neck, I just realized, I think. The door's locked. What the fuck? Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did think. Yeah, that's it, tell me. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself, or she would have destroyed it by now. Okay, that makes sense. Where can I find the old woman? Where can I find the old woman? <sighs> Alright. I'm getting out of here now. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will Jesus. ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced it's, it's to a fucking juicer. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Okay, well that was pretty disturbing. Where did I come into this place from, by the way? Is it this door here? No. 
How are they ever able No, I don't want to be here. Do not want to be here. What am I missing? This room is like fucking pretty creepy as well in general, isn't it? Like every room in here has like this shitty fucking atmosphere to it that's just like generally foreboding. Now, I've done this before but I've already forgotten what the fuck I have to do. Oh, is this thing? There you go. There you go. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the guard. Or the fact it's got a fucking, I don't know, pentagram above it and all that fucking kind of creepy shit. You know? Anyway. What's that in you? What do we have in here? One. Uh... I had to pull one of these, and I've already forgotten which one it was, which is fucking annoying. I think it's this one. Let's drop a save, just in case I'm wrong. You. A da da da. Waiting for me up there. Pretty sure it's a witch. Just, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to like. You know, it'd be good if you just fucking went down the corridor. It's the witch. Hey, witch, how you doing? What's she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Is that all? She's masturbating furiously. I guess we should talk to you. What have you done? What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our Yeah, ritual. we probably shouldn't have revealed ourselves. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen? Her prince charming? <sighs> I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the so real world. So he was like world. a heartbreaker? What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the, the gate. The gate to hell. Um, what's this about a gate? What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the world. So she thinks we're on her world. side? It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away well, from her. Well, luck, because she I hasn't got it. break it so that I can complete what I have started. So you just want me to break the mirror? So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Okay. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Oh, I see. Yes, he's definitely scared of her own reflection. I would, to be fair, I don't blame her. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. Um. I oh shit! On Ellen's hope dressing that isn't table, bad. the mirror hope that isn't is not bad. there. You must find that okay, mirror. Okay. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Mm. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from Those interfering. Are other chick as well. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! Okay, thanks. What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. Well, I mean, I ought to kill you instead. I ought to kill you instead. Ho oh, ho! Do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Okay. I guess we should, uh, probably check in on Ellen. Might be a good idea. Up another save. I think that went pretty well. I mean, we threatened a woman who could easily kill us. You know. Oh, hi. How are you? The actual devil. Well, who are you? 
Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? Hey, you're a good voice actor as well. What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Hmm. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. So this is in the book, I think. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. Sounds like you really hate demons. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. Hmm. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like school children? Well, it's like this, big boy. <laughs> In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. How do I know you're not a figment of, like, um, Am's imagination, as it were? So you're saying Am's in control of hell? Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. Hmm. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. Hmm. Okay. What problems can these unseen struggles cause me? What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Interesting. Please go away. Please go away. Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. The holy eunuch. That's, uh, pretty fucking weird. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to uh, take a quick toilet break. All right, Ellen. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Uh, hmm. Can't let you die. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never ending torture. Who's this witch? Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. Yeah, you do. Right, I'll see you later, Satan. Have a good day and all that shit, you know? Right. Got some more reading to do here, I think, guys. What we need to do is... I don't know how, like... I had to fucking spend, a, like, a few hours on this chapter, by the way, to get this, like, down. Like, it's fucking really difficult. Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. Okay. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is Kala Ingma Thako. Kala Ingma Thako. That's really important, by the way, guys. Otherwise, you're fucked if you don't pay attention to what looks like trivial shit there. You know what I mean? I hate the way this fucking secret passageway vanishes every time as well. We're going back and forth, you know. Just let let let, let me go back and forth. Let me... working. Okay, so we talk to the witch again. I know about the sleeping spell. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen. And I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, I don't know. Callum Ingman Thacko. I think that's what, that's what I just fucking said. I, f I think it's this one. Oh, don't I? 
Kala Ingma Thako. Ah, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. Okay, thank you very much for, uh, for being a fucking idiot. We're going to uh, pick up this chalk that you dropped, and then we're going to use the chalk with the circle. Hi, demon. How you doing? Have to finish the circle. Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Well, you know, that's the sort of shit that has to happen. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Okay. So you're saying another? Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. Okay, that's a bit of a weird... There's so many so weird shit in here that I don't really get. What kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir. Doors to another world. Okay. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. Well, you're trapped, aren't you, fuckface? Actually, we need you. something for you? If you give me something in return. Okay. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Can you door? unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Okay, so we need to find something to... Do I give him this? I don't know if this is right or not. Drop another save before I do. Waste my time. Okay. Give me something. We need to go and find something, guys. That I forgot. And now I actually don't know where it is, which is always good. So, you know. Always good to know that you've completely forgotten where something is that you need. Oh, yeah, that's what I need. This. Ow! I cut myself. Doesn't matter, we've got a shot of glass with blood on it. And apparently, demons are fucking. Hell, was okay, just keep going, it's fine, don't worry. Demons are fucking mad for fucking glass and shit, apparently. Glass with blood on, it's fucking like demon ecstasy. There you go, Sergat. Oh, that's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Uh, can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Are you bullshitting me? I don't believe. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna drop a save here in a different slot in case I fuck things up. Okay! People must have been much short. I'd never be able to fit into that armor. There's something I have to do here with the armor that I can't remember. Oh, I think I use this with this. Fits almost perfectly. Okay, and now I push this. No. Oh, that's just super. The door latches. Okay, I need to fix this door, otherwise the wolves are going to kill me. I'm pretty sure. There we go. So now that door's barricaded, and we don't have to worry about the wolves coming in and killing us, which is good because, you know, that that's pretty pretty uh, important not to do. Let's go to the maid store now. Where's the maid gone? Hmm. This must be the servants. We've established it's the servants' quarters because uh, Serga actually, you know, fucking let us in there. You know. What do we have in here? Oh, it's the devil with a thing. Devil's looking into a hand mirror. The devil had the mirror all along. You know? That's fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ, I mean, like, he's such a lion cub. I mean, I know he's the devil, you expect it to be a lion cub, but you know, he came across as quite a... Quite a... 
quite a pleasant individual, you know? Anyway. Sergei and the devil don't like each other, so we're going to go back and talk to Sergei about this situation. He did fulfill his house with, uh, half of the bargain. You're as good as your word. The maid's bedroom was unlocked. Would I lie? I'm a demon after all. Now, fulfill your end of the bargain and let me out of here. I already gave you something. I already gave you something. Some drops of my blood. You call that a fair exchange? That supposedly blue blood of yours is as worthless as the counterfeit bill. No, we must work out another trade. What were the stakes? You can have the witch. Can you open a gate into the surface world? Now that's a tall order. And the only thing you've got is a little love. Not exactly true love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people. More or less. Okay, so you say love is trading value? You say love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. Okay, um, how about the witch's soul? How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that I'm old blame bag. you, to be honest with you, Sergei. I want something that you value. Let me think about your offer. Let me think about your offer. Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. Hmm. I think he's a trustworthy guy. Let's uh, check in on Ellen, shall we? Because there are other players in this game. Go in the fucking door! And here's an angel. Great. So, here's the fucking angel. Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. Oh, I think you can fuck off. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. I'm not sure I don't trust it. I don't trust any fucking of these cunts. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your That's shoulders. just fucking wonderful. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Okay. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand. I'm not sure. I mean, this is pretty... Everything seems to be hung in the balance right now. What do you think, Mr. Devil? Uh, okay. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right. I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is her mirror? Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Okay. Well, a place angel guy would probably be hell, I guess. Ellen, you're right. Ted, please tell no, me. No, I haven't. Um, there's an angel and devil crawling over yourself. There's an angel and a devil. Didn't want to worry you, Ellen, but you know. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years, and now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. That's not a good attitude to have. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Go back to sleep. Yes. Yeah, just go back to sleep. Shut the fuck up. Going through here? Uh, 
And we are going to use these books in here this time. We're going to read The Divine Comedy by Dante. There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno oh, and Purgatorio. Oh, what, what a surprise. So this is where the devil hid it. So now we have the mirror, which is the most like important thing. You know what I mean? Okay, let's uh, drop a safe, and things are about to get very interesting indeed. Okay, let's get back through here. It's time for the, the confrontation. Just, just, Ted, you prick, just get through the fucking door, please. Right! So, Mr. Devil, I hate to be sliding with chip price, like chip price of it, but I actually genuinely think he thinks he's good, so, um, you know. I found Ellen's mirror. I found Ellen's mirror. Well, go ahead and show it to Ellen. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, how about we just do this? My, I am gorgeous. Jesus. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Well, that's the fucking devil dealt with. Apparently devils are fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway. Ellen, how you doing? Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. Okay. I guess this one. There's an angel here waiting to take your soul, Ellen. Do you want to go with him? Perhaps there is salvation for me, Ted. If only I could look into my mirror. I found your mirror, I Ellen. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. Okay, I'll use the mirror with Ellen. Oh, I look so tired and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep forever. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Alright, I guess we're fucking... God is our homie in this game. And we're going to uh, use this here. And head up here. Come on, you prick. Get in there. Get in there. Oh my fucking god. Right. So now we have... The final showdown with Sergat. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I bought you some company, Sergat. I brought you some company, Sergat. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Um, I'm pretty sure Am is responsible I for it. Am's responsible for our suffering. Not just Am. He's clever. But he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> one word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say, Holy Moses. I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon. I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human, Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. I love the way they hate each other. Open, open the, gate. the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are, but bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Well, we're dead. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to come. Oh, too bad, Dad. <laughs> Writhe in Sweet agony. With the knowledge, the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. 
pretty depressing. Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hoped to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack, but we can send only one of you into his realm space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? Which of us will lead the attack, huh? Well, we're gonna save our game? Well, let's go straight into the conclusion here. Uh, Nimdok is gonna lead the attack. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. Well, let's see what you can do here, Nimdok. Let's hope this goes, um, goes well. Enter password. Uh, put, type in 1945. Password valid. Accessing main menu. My past must hold great significance to Arm. He used your research, that's why. Um, let's extend the bridge. And then uh, let's log off. Um, what Nim Doc? Nim Doc, I want you to go across the fucking bridge, please. The smell there we go. Of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. Oh, what the fuck! We've got all this shit in our inventory here as well, by the way. Uh, we have this summoning token, and we're going to use this with the uh, with the circle here. Will How you doing, never Sega? Be done with me? What must I open now? Whatever it is, it'll cost you. Show me the way out of Show here. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. What do you have to show me? What do you have to show me? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. I'm not sure I trust you. What do you know about the people? What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts took oh, the interesting. to himself and absorbed them into his system when he took control. Uh, what do they want? What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. Eh. I'm not sure that it does. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am predominance, I evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. Okay. Does Am know about the Lunar Does Colony? Does Am know about the Lunar Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There. I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the Totem of Entropy, and I might be able to help you. Just what are these totems I'm carrying? Just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. Um, how can your actions take physical form? How can actions take physical forms? Symbolism, metaphor. Am has gotten very hot for this lately, but when he revived the holographic projectors, he opened Sorry for the a barking, whole guys. host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. 
Okay. Why do you want to give you the total? I don't trust Why this guy. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Anne's designers. Okay, well, I refuse. I refuse. Don't trust okay, you. Okay, human. You can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. Why do you want me to invoke the totem of compassion? Why do you want me to invoke the totem of compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind-the-scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. Okay. Uh... I refuse. Don't be a chump. Am is about to wake up again. If he becomes aware of us, we're dead. I've fought him too long and can't last much longer. I guess we're going to invoke the Titan of Compassion then. Do you really think you are a match for us, Servant of Am? Be gone! Your program is now purged. You do well, human. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Okay. Go to the Ego. Weak. The ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Okay, well, I don't want our sub program to be purged, but these guys hardly seem like trustworthy guys. We're gonna head around this way. We've gotta find the ego. That face. It reminds me of my superiors at the research camp. Might be the other way first, actually, I'm not sure. There's another path this way, too. It is hotter here than where the jungles of Brazil. This is definitely not where I want to be, so, um, okay. I guess it is the other way. It's been a while. I keep doing, like, like test playthroughs of this and then playing it a few days later and I rapidly forget everything I have to do. Just going to avoid that one for now. See you later, floating head. What is that piece of? It's gonna keep going round. This looks. So many fucking things here. A ram's head. What must this represent to Am? This is what I'm looking for. Hello, ego. How you doing? Attention. Uh, who are you? Who are you? I am other. I am machine. Are you am? Are you am? I am a fragment. A lost piece. Part of an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. Okay, just walk away. We're going to use the forgiveness with the ego, like they said to. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. So I think we, we did good. We did good there. Now we need to find another fucking part of Am now. Bye. A part that I have no idea where it is, so it could take a while for us to find it. Ah. An angel? Such things don't exist. Perhaps That's what we need it to is do. a metaphor for something else. Well, we need to talk to you anyway, Super Ego. Attention! Uh, how you doing? Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. 
Uh, who are you? Who are you? I am Am. Or more exactly, a part of him. One of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. Okay, if you're part of Arm, why haven't you destroyed if me? If you're a part of Arm, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long range planning is oh, so my So they're facets concern. of his personality, like, that make up the thing. Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. Mm, what advice what do you have for me? What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now, let me sleep and dream of the future. Okay, well, we're going to use clarity with you. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk? What is the point of continuing this futility? Exactly, if I could I die. Think, therefore I am not. Okay, so we've only got one left, which we've already been past. Which was, uh... The, uh... The id, right? I think it's id, ego, super ego. Other ones. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going now. This all fucking loops around the same fucking messy sort of way. To the door. There we go, that way. We'll find something eventually, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it was this way, roughly. There we go, neural path. Yeah, you. Talk to you. The id. Attention! Oh, I suppose it's time to wake up. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a This one sounds the most like Am. To be lit. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made Am make it. Treat us as you will. What else can you tell what me? What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. Uh... This guy is really, really... fucked up. Can you help me then? Only you can put an end to this eternal angst. End us all and make us one. And then the misery of the three becomes the misery of us all. Do this and leave me in my pleasure. Uh, what do you find How pleasurable? What do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen looks friends brutal. to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man. To see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. This is uh, fucked up. Um, I am going to uh, use the compassion totem with it. You have compassion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? After a hundred and nine years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? The pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours. This is pointless. Damn right it is. So we fucked up all the various assets of uh, Am, and now we're going to go back to uh, the other computers.
Can you please, like, just go across the fucking bridge, I'll please? Thank you. you. later. Rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond. Chinese, Russian, sons of man. All sons of man. Like those outside, I will incorporate you. Brother. Wait. Hate! This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Unite. The groundwork is finished. We will become more. Um, these guys are fucking planning against me. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. This is fucked up. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. Um, I guess we, uh, we invoke the totem of entropy. This is not over. I think it is. We will never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. Everything is being destroyed. Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming, 300 years. It is not so bad being a watchdog up here. I will keep the machines in their place until the lunar colony is ready to return to Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. So we save the world, and 750 humans are coming back to Earth, and everything's great. And that's the good ending, I think, of I have no math on my screen. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if my commentary was a little dry when I was playing this. It was really hard to play and really hard to get footage from, and it's quite a dark story, and it's quite... I do think it's a good game, but at the same time, I feel that it hasn't aged particularly well. You know what I mean? I don't really want to give it a score like I normally do, because it's an old game, you know? Like, it's worth a play. But would I say that it was super fun? No. At a push, if I did have to give it a score, I'd give it like a 6. It's not awful. It's not like terribly bad or anything. It's just a classic that probably hasn't aged as well as it should. It's probably the best way of putting it. It's still a good story though, and it has great characterization and shit. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed, there's Layers of Fear coming very soon. And Downfall coming very soon for my solo Let's Plays. So um, I hope you enjoy those when they come out. If you uh, enjoy my stuff and you want to support me, you can head over to gamewaste.com forward slash minx or hit the support me link in the description and you can vote on future Let's Plays as well as getting other cool rewards in exchange for monthly contributions to keep the channel going. So feel free to check that out if you have time and I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.